is up my planting people my name is Lithius and welcome to Roots Ready if it's your first time here today I would like to say a huge huge welcome and thank you for tuning in if it's not your first time I would like to say I really appreciate you watching this channel thank you so much for your support it really does help motivate me and keeps me going today i'll be talking about the training plants that i have in my collection and some of the care requirements if you are interested in content like this then please consider subscribing to this channel you can also hit that like button and even that bell icon if you want to stay up to date the first plant i'll be talking about very very briefly um is one that uh, i have discussed in my um, in my care guide series. If you want to watch the full care guide for this plant, then I'm going to link it right here um, so you can go have a look at that. And that plant is, of course, my Monstera Peru. Um, it has grown quite a bit since the last time you guys would have seen it. And I have transferred it into pond now and it just seems to be loving life. Um, but this plant is a bit of a cheat. I've got it climbing. Um, but when I first originally bought this plant, it was a training plant and you can have it as both. Um, having it uh, as a climbing plant when you secure it to a pole uh, will help to promote that larger leaf growth if that's what you're looking for but equally you can have it in a in like a sort of a hanging basket um, uh, just be aware that the leaves uh, do tend to get a little bit smaller as the plant progresses but nonetheless this is an absolutely fabulous plant i really really love that sort of that dimpled uh, effect on the on the leaf uh, and it's sort of darker uh, crevices there just absolutely love it just look at that um, and it's I, I find that at first it was quite a slow grower but it's now putting out a leaf maybe every two weeks at the moment um, so it does you know give, give it the right sort of um, care and love and attention that it requires and it will just do absolutely wonderful in your collection but that was the first plant in my collection one that um, you should definitely consider having if you are looking for something a little bit different, um, you know, to add to your to your collection, just look at that. Up next is this plant right here. This is my wonderful, beautiful Hoya Crinkle Eight, and it's given that that name Crinkle Eight because of the dimples uh, here in the leaves, and I think there are eight of them if you if you care to count them. <laughs> I've got it hanging in a place in my home that gets a lot of morning light and because of that the latest leaves have just been absolutely huge when you compare it to some of the older leaves down here um, so that's just testament to you know you put your plant where it gets a lot of light and it will absolutely love you for it um, I've seen a lot of pictures and this is something that I'm considering doing myself um, of people who have these as sort of like a living curtain in front of a window not just this plant in particular but you know all of the trailing plants just sort of draping in front of a window getting that beautiful beautiful light and just that natural sort of waterfall effect of plants and it's something that i'm looking into um so if you're looking for something like that to have in your home um definitely consider looking at some of these uh, trailing plants that i'm going to be showing you today and this one, as I said, is the Hoya Crinkle, just an absolutely beautiful plant to have in your collection. Very, very easy to look after. I've got mine in uh, in a mainly orchid bark mix, and it's just absolutely wonderful. I water it maybe once a week, once every week and a half, um, and it just does absolutely great. Really easy to look after. 100% would recommend this plant. Next up is a plant that is extremely popular as a trailing plant. And if you are or have been looking into, um, you know, increasing your, your trailing plant collection, then you would have definitely stumbled across this one. And it is the one and only string of hearts. Just look at this. Ah, oh, absolutely fabulous. Just amazing. Just these little heart shaped leaves uh with that sort of that silvery effect just absolutely uh fabulous just look at it just glistening in the light just absolutely love it with the purple that sort of light purple back to the leaves are oh, just wonderful when i first bought this plant i kid you not the leaves the the length of this was probably about four inches um but since then it's only been a matter of months we're talking about maybe three months it has tripled in, in length now this plant is just a prolific grower uh it grows very very quickly so 
I would suggest definitely having a plan of action for when it gets too long. It is extremely, extremely easy to propagate. You just chop it at the nodes um, and you can put it in a prop box and before you know it, it will root and you can plant it back into the main plant to have that sort of effect. At the moment, I've only got it, put it in this little clay cup, just, you know, just for, just for styling. I, like, I really, really love it. Uh, <laughs> um, and, you know, I, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with mine as it gets longer. I've just sort of got it trailing from like the top shelf. Uh, and it's nearly touching the, the floor now. So I think I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to consider chopping and propping. Um, but it's an absolutely fabulous plant. My one criticism of this plant, if you can call it that, is that it is high maintenance in the sense that you have to, if you really, if you're someone that really loves things really neat and tidy, this plant might not be the one for you. Because I kid you not, I will untangle this plant. It will take me about 15 minutes. It's not, it's not, you know, there's not loads of, uh, on here. It'll take me about 15 minutes. And I kid you not in 15 minutes, it will retangle itself in whatever. I don't know how it does it, but it just doesn't seem to stay untangled for very long. And I guess that's because it grows so quickly and it's sort of trying to go to the light and then it's not. Um, so it does tend to just wrap around itself. So I've just sort of given up and I kind of like it like this anyway. That's a kind of, uh, a waterfall effect of of that glistening silver leaves i just yeah i'm just gonna let it do its thing uh let it be as wild as possible next on my list is the philodendron micans and oh my goodness isn't it just an absolutely fabulous plant just an absolute looker this plant is very different maybe not too different not 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 too dissimilar to the plants that are coming up next but this plant is the just just an incredible incredible plant again it's, it's a it's a very fast growing plant i bought this as a maybe a three leaf cutting uh during the winter last year um and it's already you know grown so much i've chopped it i've propped it i'm trying to really fill up the the, the crown because you can see it's quite it's quite bare on top so i'm trying to do that so i'm trying to let it grow and i chop it put it back in and it, and it roots really really easily what i really really love about this plant again it's Sim similar to the string of hearts in some sense it does glisten when the light hits it right it has that shimmer to it um and it's a really velvety leaf just absolutely soft um it's like kind of suede um sort of effect i love the the, the way the new growth comes in because it comes in in this sort of orangey type reddish type color then it then transition into that darker green when you have it trailing Again, the leaves do sort of tend to stay around this sort of size, but if you want it to be a lot larger, you can stake this plant up or you can have a board uh, in here and it will just attach itself to the board and just climb. Um, and, it, and it does that very, very quickly. Uh, it's, it's a plant that I would recommend if you're looking for something, again, a little bit different um, to have in your collection. It's so easy to double your collection in this plant in a matter of months just by propagating. Keep your eye out for this plant if you do not already have it. The last two plants on my list, I'm gonna do them uh, together because I'm not really too sure on which is which in terms of their common names. I'm just gonna talk about them because their care is completely the same. Um, their growth rate is completely the same. They're the same species or some species of plant. Um, and those are the uh, Skimdapsis. Over here, I have the Skimdapsis Pictus Exotica. And this one over here is the Skimdapsis Pictus Arginia. Um, they're both very similar in sort, of, in, in sort of the way they look. This one, uh, the speckling is sort of more spaced out. Uh, it's more like polka dot kind of effect. And this one uh, tends to have that sort of thicker, uh, broader, sort of speckling across this across the its leaves and some of them even have that full variegation on it um both of these plants as i said have the exact same care requirements in terms of the watering which i do um i wait until the, the the soil is almost completely dry so we're talking about maybe once every week to once every week and a half before they are watered again they're placed in a very similar position literally right next to each other so they get pretty much the same amount of lighting this is why the new growth is very uh sort of leggy um and it's not what i'm going for but nonetheless these are quite rapid growers very easy propagators 
um, and one you could just start off with a very very small cut in and before you know it you'll have something like this this one I got as literally a, a three leaf cut in and I've now turned it into this in a matter of months so come and check me again in a couple more months and it should be double the thickness of this so I'm looking forward to that I've got these on the shelf and they sort of just drape down um, they're very common house plants you can get them as a as much larger hanging baskets and again you can place those really close to the window um, preferably one with sort of dappled light so I've got mine in front of a an east facing window and I think that lighting they're really enjoying that although albeit it's a little bit pulled back from the window so yeah really really cool plants to have really interesting to look at um, as well and especially if you've got uh, like the both of them you can very much sort of contrast and compare so that was it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video um let me know in the comments below if you've if you've got any of these plants in your collection uh especially let me know if you've had any issues with them luckily you know fingers crossed um, i haven't had any pest issues at all with any of these plants so i'm very very lucky in that respect but let me know if you faced any sort of issues and what you've done to resolve them i would love to be sort of uh, proactive rather than reactive when it comes to my plants so let me know how you how you've dealt with those if any um it's oh, just look at that <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and keep planting skim daxis skim daxis skim dax skim what skim what's it